Oh, and before we get into this video today, I'd just like to say please uh, like and subscribe. That would be very useful. I'm trying to get to 50 subs in a two week span. So if you could keep that uh, the support up, that would be great. Uh, leave a like and yeah, on with the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me Cam from Cam's Cobham and welcome back to another daily news video. Now I haven't done one of these in a couple of days because all we've been doing is either playing games or signing players, but that will change today and um, get on with the first story. First story, and today is going to be a bit goalkeeper heavy because uh, Chelsea are going to try and line up a Kepa replacement. Now, the first um, replacement that um, I've mentioned a couple of times on this channel uh, is Mendy. Now, uh, a 60 million euro bid was denied by uh, Rene, but again, uh, another bid has uh, been, I think, submitted about yesterday for a lot of 18 million pounds. It is, and um, Basically, we need to know about Mendy. He's 28. He's uh, quite tall. He's got very long limbs, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, um, definitely not the superstar signing uh, we're used to at the moment. But uh, I think a quick fix and definitely probably better than Kepa. He might be the starting goalkeeper or second team. It's, it's quite hard to, you know, pin it down. But, yeah, um, his main attributes is catching crosses, which, again, is one of our... Um, weaknesses uh, in our team so yeah uh, a little quick fix to shore up the defense again and stop a couple goals from going through so yeah that Mendy I mean it's not as inspiring as the next uh, goalkeeper I'm going to be talking about but again uh, a quick fix and yeah I mean not as great as you know Mignon from uh, Lille but again quick fix and pretty good signing if it happens now uh, moving on to the next uh goalkeeper replacement this is a bit um more inspiring it's uh Donnarumma from AC Milan now there's not it's not a lot of um links to like back up this statement it's just um Chelsea are apparently in talks with uh Raiola his agent to sign um Donnarumma now the fee would be a commanding around uh 45 million 50 million euros which again it's no Kepa money but it is a lot for a, a goalkeeper now, Donnarumma is 21 years old, and he's been the AC Milan goalkeeper for about four years now. So, you know, he's been on the scene. We know what he's about. He's a good goalkeeper, and apart from the mainstays uh, at the top of the game, like um, Oblak, Tostegen, Allison, and Edison, uh, he's probably the second tier and one of the best goalkeepers right now you can sign. 21-year-old uh, goalkeeper, like, you can invest in a goalkeeper, which was... The plan for Kepa, which didn't turn out. I mean, it's a big risk at the price, but we know uh, Donnarumma is capable of like performing at the highest levels. He's a good goalkeeper and definitely a, a good Kepa replacement. Now, if this were to happen, I think he would definitely slot into a um, starting squad and would be a very inspiring uh, signing. More than Mendy, but more expensive as well. If Roman is prepared to dish out more funds for this then I'm going to totally back it but yeah that's Donnarumma. Now to talk more about the defence I guess um, Declan Rice uh, it's, it's clear that Lampard wants Declan Rice but it's also <laughs> going to be very tricky to pry him out of West Ham he's uh, the star piece in the West Ham's um, team they won 80 million and again he's english uh 21 years old as well west ham are asking for 50 uh, upwards of 50 million so again it's up to roman really i mean we could just wait a couple um just windows to let his uh, contract run down and sign him later but again 80 million i'm i'm, I'm not too sure so yeah that's declan rice for me uh, i i would like to sign him i know i'm being or sitting on the fence here, but if the price goes down a bit, like the Ben Chilwell one, I'm I'm totally gonna back it. But again, this window could amount to about two hundred and fifty million pounds. We need to get a bit of outs uh, going out. Finally, to you know, finish off the video with the uh, the main man King Kai. Um, there are reports that he might be announced tomorrow. Oh yeah, and just quickly, uh, whilst I was whilst editing this uh, video, Bayer Leverkusen have uh, tweeted their training videos, and again. The Chelsea fans have uh, put on their Sherlock Holmes hats and decided to, uh, well, seen that there was no Kai Havertz, which again is just fueling the um, Kai Havertz announcement tomorrow, which I was talking about. So yeah, uh, yeah, just a little bit of thing to show him probably not in Germany and might be in England, but hey, 
that's just speculation. 